In this quick tip video, I want to show you a few uh, things you can use to speed up your workflow. And most of them uh, will deal with the move tool and managing layers and content here on the canvas. The first thing I want to show you is how you can select a layer here on the palette. You can see I have a bunch of layers here on this uh, layers palette. And by the way, this image uh, is the result of a tutorial I already have on YouTube and on my website. Uh, you'll see the link um, here on the screen uh, take, that will take you to that uh, video if you want to see it. So in order to select a layer from the layers palette, you have to use the move tool, which is this one. You can access it by pressing the V key or selecting it uh, with your mouse. And let's say I want to select the wings here. In, instead of um, browsing uh, here on the layers palette and um, looking for that layer, with the move tool selected, I can press and hold the control key and click on the wings. And you can see how it selected the wings for me. And uh, let's see, uh, if I want to select the woman, for example, I can do the same. Hold the control key and click. And in this case, it selected this fill layer because that's uh, this is a clipping mask for that layer. So if, if you have clipping masks for a, for a layer, it will uh, sometimes select the last uh, clipping mask of that layer. Uh, but even so, it's uh, it's very useful because, for example, if you have... Uh, like a um, hundred layers and uh, especially if you didn't uh, rename them it's really hard to um, and time-consuming to start uh, searching for that specific layer so you just press and hold the control key click on the uh, on the layer you want to find and even if it selects the clipping mask layer uh, it's a lot uh, quicker to find the layer that you're looking for another way of selecting layers without accessing the layers panel is with the move tool selected, just right click and you'll see a list with um, some of the layers. I don't know how exactly this list works because now I right clicked on the wings and you see this list here, but if I click on the on a statue for example, you'll see the list of uh, layers changed and if I click on the background, the list is smaller. So I guess it selects the layer that are um, below the layer that you're clicked on or I don't know how exactly that works but you can find that uh, out for yourself if you want to and just to show you I will click on the makeup and it's selected uh, in this case the entire group if you work with groups and you want to select an element inside uh, inside a group um, using the control key that I just mentioned it by default it selects the group and I I made a group here uh, with three um, layers inside just to show you that and I'll select another layer and if I press and hold the control key and click on the pink uh, circle you see uh, that it selects the group and that's because by default it has this uh, option selected here which says group uh, if you change this to layer and I do that again you can see it selects the specific this specific layer inside the group so it expands the group and it selects the layer and that specific layer that you clicked on uh, you also have this option uh, auto select uh, which allows you to select a layer just by clicking on it without uh, using the control key and I'll show you how that works uh, if I click on this orange circle without pressing the control key you can see it does the same the reason why I don't like this auto select option is because uh, it's really easy to move a layer without noticing it and you can uh, move it uh, from its place that's a problem for example uh, on the dodge and burn layer let me uh, by default, I always lock the dodge and burn layer just to avoid moving it. But you can move that away, and you can see that all the design uh, starts looking really bad because <laughs> look where the lips are, and it's not looking good. That's why I don't like to have that uh, that option checked. So let's see what else you can do with the move tool. You can also align layers. Mm, let me activate that group again. If you select the move tool and then select uh, at least two layers, you will see this uh, alignment options uh, become available. And these are used to align elements on the canvas. For example, if I want to center them um, horizontally, I can click this icon and I will align the uh, horizontal centers like that. 
and if I want to uh, align them vertically as well I can click this icon and now they're all set. The blue layer is not visible because, because it's smaller and it's under all the other layers so let me bring it on top and of course you can line them on one side if you want to or on the top uh, on the center and on the side uh, that's uh, just all the alignment options that you have another thing that I want, that I want to show you in this uh, video is how you can how you can move layers from one document to another and I'll create a new file I don't care about the dimensions now and let's say I want to move the woman to the other document without losing the editing uh, capabilities of the layers so what I will do is um, select the woman first let me find that layer using the same uh, trick that I just uh, mentioned but I will lock this layer because I press control and clicked and it select the burn uh, the burn dodge and burn layer and if I lock it it will, it will skip it so I selected the wings the shadow the back here, the woman, and all the layers related to the woman, the makeup as well, and the front hair as well. So once you have the layer selected, select the move tool, click on the canvas itself, click and drag to the other tab, and press and hold the shift key, and let go. And you have all the layers on this other document here. And if you go back to the other one, you will see that the woman is still in place, it didn't move uh, an inch because even though it, it moves uh, when you drag it to that tab and you let go uh, it repositions uh, the the element back on the original position so that's how you move layers to another tab another way of doing that is uh, splitting the screen using this icon here so you can uh, split the screen in two and once uh, you, you split your screen, select the document, select this document, and you will see the layers uh, here. And if you select the other one, you will see that there's only one layer, which is the background layer. So go back to your document, click on the layers, and drag them here, and let go. And you'll have, now you can go back to, to one screen, and here you have all the layers. So that's all I wanted to show you in this uh, quick tip video. I hope you liked uh, the tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.